So this was a, another um, long challenge request. Somebody suggested that I should try Laser Cannon Spam. I did Deep Red Spam on skates, and it worked out pretty well. Unfortunately, I lost Black Water because I crashed. So I'm gonna go again on the same map to Black Water with, instead of Red Wizards, Red Darling Guns. Can we do it? I don't really think it's gonna be as easy as Deep Reds because Laser Cannons are obviously... Uh, they're not great. Hydro Rocket's almost better than uh, Laser in basically every situation, so... On top of other reasons, but it's just not that great. Also, you're probably wondering why the hell am I bringing Striker Jones? Well, because there is a bug with Striker Jones that allows um, energy attacks to hit DDTs. So if I buy Striker, that means I don't have to buy a Mib for uh, my laser cannons. That saves me 8k. So it's gonna be Twin Guns and then Striker. I want Striker early, by the way, because level 19 is when every attack from laser cannons will get full DT pump power. Because if it's only level 5, which is the first part where uh, the bug happens, it's only half resistance. Top of that, oh, we'll obviously do Mop Glue. Maybe Sabo. But I'm hoping that laser cannons don't need that much support. Striker Jones will carry us in the early game with those two awesome whiffs that you just saw there. Here's what I'm thinking. Village will go right under this intersection, and then I have a nice big round of laser cannons with out buffs. I believe it's always worth it to out buff a Darling Gunner. The only time I'd say um, it's not worth an out buff is like a sniper, because it shoots so fast and already does a lot of layers. But yeah, every other tower I think will benefit massively from uh, an out buff. So, right here for my very first guy. I'm gonna try to rush a discount village, because I'm only getting tier 3, obviously. It's a 3 2 0 that I'm spamming. We got a greed if you want to succeed. Although it's actually kind of sketchy right now. Early 20s. Whatever. Here we go. This run's pretty hard. I'm gonna strike her immediately. And hopefully that'll be enough. Yep, we're good. 23 is also kind of interesting. Ability? Nah, we're fine. Just gotta micro a little bit. Yeah, this is some insane greed, guys. Greeding does exist in chimps. You can greed. But, obviously, not very efficient greed. You're just greeting to save money later on. Not really to make money. So there we go. That's what I wanted. So let's try to rush that barrel spin. 15% off. Assuming I survive this part, I just need a couple hundred... Dollars, so like one or two rounds. That's all. Okay, next round could be bad. 27 is a lot of loans. Luckily, Striker has a uh, AoE. And AoE is very nice. Come on, 870, 870, 870. Got it, Striker. That was useless. So okay, we'll get that blue. Don't worry. We're fine. That's why I got my darling gun at the back. I got the darlings in the back. Also, the bug only works with uh, DDTs, so lead balloons. Laser will not be able to hit. I would need an alchemist for that. It only works on a DDT balloon, not a not a lead. We need more pierce on these one pierce darts. As you can tell, we ain't doing so hot. Oh yeah, we're not doing hot at all. Uh, no Riga farm, please. No Riga farm. Alp buff time. Don't worry, yes, I'm sure 3 2 is better with, with an Alp buff. I can assure you of that. And just need a 13, 1150, and then we're good. So, Alp buff. Alright, now we got the show on the road, guys. Like, we're, we're set. Now, I don't really want to upgrade to laser right away, because I can't beat Camel Purples. Not yet, at least. So, I want to get a second, second Artling. Or rather, uh, Jungle Drums. Yeah, Jungle Drums. A 2-0-2 will be what we want to get. So, Darling number 2. So, now that I got Camel with this guy, it should be good to go for a Laser Cannon. 3900 with discounts. But yeah, it's really not that good of an upgrade compared to, like, the BT-5 version. Instead of one layer of damage, you get two, I believe, with Laser Cannon. 
And you only get a bit more pierce. I believe I checked the stats. You get like plus three here. Plus three pierce. That ain't a whole lot. I think the BTD5 has like 12 pierce. So that's like plus... Plus 10 pierce on the upgrade. Mob time. With laser shock we should have this easy. Basically double damage with the shock. Um, insides. Made it close. Cannon time. So that's where we're gonna spam. These super thin lasers. I'm pretty sure I have to leave at least one darling at all times to not be laser. Because yeah, if I have them all laser, they will not be able to hit the purples. And I'd have to rely on only striker, which doesn't detect camo. Um, I'll probably just get laser shock. One upgrade. Oh, I should also remove the uh, building. Because I can't place Dartlings in this top side. And it will allow me to hit balloons that are looping when they're exiting. Oh, I didn't buy, I didn't mean to buy that. Sorry, misclick, misclick. Ignore it. It's useless. Uh, Camo Leds. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna die here. No. I'm actually gonna buy this early. A Camo Village, because I'm gonna get a Morp Glue up, up front. I don't want to put my Morp Glue so far back. But yeah, uh, let's get started on this top right island. Although I gotta keep microwing, which is annoying. 63. Um, maybe I should have played this a little safer. Yeah, I got pretty far. Okay, uh, let's see what I can buy. I would say an Alpha. Oh, Alright, I got a Micro, Micro. Tier 4. I'll Striker just to be safe as well. Oh, that's a lot of damage with that shell. Gotta love that damage buff with Striker. See that? Shell. Laser Cannon's supposed to be high palm power, yeah. Again, they didn't give high palm power for the laser this game. In this game. That's reserved for BT5. I cannot believe when I check the Papology page, it's only plus three Pierce. It's kind of underwhelming. Because, yeah, Hydro Rocket basically outclasses it. it. It hits every type of balloon. It doesn't have weakness against lead or purple. purple, And it's better against groups. Like, why would you not get Hydro Rocket? But don't worry, I trust NK to tweak it a little bit. I'm assuming they will give it a buff. Because I don't see many people uh, using it. Is this challenge doable if I don't go Mob Glue? Uh, it may- it might be if I go for other support towers, but... Mob Glue is the most simple and best support for any- any challenge, really. Like, you still have Sabos, you still have Mopras, but... Uh, Mob Glue is just really reliable. It slows down literally every balloon. Every Moab class balloon. You don't have to worry about timing abilities with Sabo. It just makes your day so much easier if you go on Mop Glue. Speaking of which, I'll just do it now. Here is a decent spot. I might get a P training on this guy if I feel like it later. 76 easy. So ideally the ratio should be around uh, 3 Durling Guns, 1 Alchemist. So we got currently uh, 8. Okay. 8 and 3, so I could probably drop a few more Dartlings. And we'll still be good. Uh, here's 78. Okay, let me upgrade to one more. So the one Dartling I'm not upgrading is this guy. I might just buy, buy a, what do you call it? Bail Spin? And maybe Laser Shock? Yeah, I'll buy it, I'll buy it. Laser Shock still hits purples. So I can leave it at that and be fine. But yeah, just one Dartling has to be... Not upgraded until 95 passes, because after 95, no more perps, so we good. And here comes 81. I might consider going for a, uh, uh, what do you call it, a Zoo 3 2, because I don't think laser cannons get increased ram damage, so uh, even though that was fine, imagine fortifieds. I don't know if I want to add another village, like to extend my darling army. That would allow me to place a, what do you call it, uh, a clue house under range of another village. I'll also buy Splatter because this guy will also uh, act as uh, Ceram Slowdown. So far, it's actually pretty good. I don't mind how we're doing so far. 
These guys are shredding with op buffs. Let's go for number 12. You can fit quite a lot of dartlings in this tiny space here. But yeah, as for what support, I think we're fine against like single target, like a bad. I don't think we need a, a spike storm like D Rep did. But yeah, it's about the group rounds, like 98. Maybe DDT is what Striker at? No, he's gonna make it. We'll get level 19 Striker by 95, so I think we're fine. Not sure I put laser cannons on the same level as Sentry Expert. Well, I don't know. See, Fortified? They are definitely harder to break. Require a bit more focus. How is 90? Currently, only half the lasers hit DTs. Watch. See? They're being damaged, guys. Albeit not that great of damage, but don't worry. Actually, I'll save money just in case. Maybe my calculations were off, and you actually cannot afford level 19 striker. In that case, I'd be really sad. But I need that for 95, otherwise, we're gonna be in for a tough time. DDTs, let's focus. Good. And easy. So yeah, spend money, 1.4k, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. I'm just gonna get Shattering, screw it. Because Shattering will work for 95 as well, for the 4 to 5 Moabs. I'm just gonna commit. Because no other round seems that hard. And it's not really, yeah. I would count Shattering as support, as a support tower. So, uh, I'm allowed to get it. So here we go. Easy round, guys. Easy. I can just fast forward and win. For the most part. For the most part. Just gonna play it safe, I guess. After all, I don't want to be too cocky and lose. But overall, we're fine. We're fine. I don't know if I want a Sabo, a Glue Hose, or something else, but yeah, again, hold on to the cash. Hold on to it. I might get a Sabo though for 99. Fortified DTs, twice the HP. Seems like it could be an issue. But yeah, we're looking solid right now. Doubters, where you at? Surprisingly, not much worse than D-Brat spam. From my experience. From what I'm seeing here. We're looking solid. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a Sabo. Uh, can I discount it? No, I think we're out of space here. Pretty much. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Right here. 11k, so that's enough money for like a, a glue hose. Or a spike storm. If I need it. Don't take this easy chimps map, like... Um... Literally. Because most strategies can work on easy maps like this. I say most. Also, I guess we'll slow down. A lot of balloons here. Although, I think we should be fine. Just a few more. Two ZMGs left. Or is that three? Is that three or two? Alright, I'm slowing down. Striker. It's fine. And it's fine. And then Sabo DDTs. And then it'll basically be a 95, but like, easier. Easy. 25k, I'm gonna hold on the cash, because I think these lasers will shred a bad. It's kind of slow, but I'm committed to not buy a tower with my excess cash. Come on. 80%? It is definitely very slow. Not great. Hurry up. There we go. There we go. Struck a stun, and we've seen this already. Two ZMGs as far. Black Border Skates is ours. First try. Not bad, not bad. Not as bad as I thought, but that, again, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Laser cannons still suck, NK. I would love it if it got a little bit more love. That's all.